Behind me is the 2021 Marin Gestalt X10, and I'm going to tell you why I think this is an awesome option for the mountain biker or any kind of cyclist who's looking for that other bike in their quiver that can allow them to just go for a ride from home and face whatever's ahead of them. This is a bike for gravel, so I mean it's going to be trendy to call it a gravel bike, but it really is a bike that just allows you to leave from, from your front door, go for a ride, and if you see gravel, pavement, crushed shale, or some nice smooth single track, you'll be able to tackle that stuff with comfort, with ease, and without spending a fortune on your new gravel bike. So I'm going to tell you why we love this bike. Let's go. So this is the Gestalt X10 made by Marin. This is the 2021 version that we're looking at. And this is one of two Gestalt X bikes in the Marin lineup and one of five that carry the Gestalt name. The Gestalt X name basically means that we're looking at a bike with a one by drivetrain. And in this case, it is a one by 10 drivetrain. And we're looking at a bike that is $1,749 in Canada or $12.99 in the States. So really, really good pricing, but there are some features about this bike that make it a particular standout compared to basically anything I've seen out there in the gravel bike world. So to start with, this is an alloy frame on this guy and a carbon fiber fork. We've got 40C Schwalbe G1 tires on here. The G1 is a really, really nice tread pattern for giving you a little bit of extra bite if you get into slightly loose stuff, if it's single track or anything, but a really, really fast rolling kind of a, a tire that basically behaves like a slick when it's on the smooth stuff. Um, the magic on this guy basically comes down to this combo here. We have a Micro Shift Advent X um, derailleur and 10 speed cassette and that cassette has a gear range from 11 to 51 teeth. So this is where this bike being a price point bike, it actually outperforms, um, if you're judging by gear range, a lot of the higher end um, gravel bikes that are out there. This Advent X rear derailleur, it has a clutch on it. So that means that we have a very, very strong pronounced spring. That in combination with this chain ring, which has narrow wide profiling, is going to basically mean that you can go rumbling through some pretty bumpy gravel and you really reduce the likelihood of bouncing a chain off. So that's where this bike compared to a 2 by drivetrain, you're going to get as much or more gear range from this 1151 cassette. And also because those teeth on your front rings don't have to allow for shifting, they can be de designed just to hold the chain really solidly. You'll notice on the seat tube on this frame, they really, really shape the seat tube to give you as much clearance uh, between the tire and the seat tube as possible, while still allowing for a short rear end on the bike, which makes for a nimble bike, and allowing for tire clearance, which the stock tire is a 40C tire. Um, you can go up to about a 45C tire on this bike um, because of that extra clearance that they've built into this seat tube shape. As mentioned, it's an aluminum frame. It's got some really nice looking welds on here. We have things like an empty cable port. You can set this guy up with a dropper post, which is just starting to become more accepted as a thing you would do on a gravel bike. Um, I myself have a dropper on my gravel bike and it came stock like that. It's a Marin Headlands. And at first I thought it was a novelty, but actually the more you go commuting, uh, on it, the more you find a traffic lights, you end up taking care, taking advantage of a dropper, and you'll also find that you just want to tackle some steeper, more technical terrain if you go hunting around town for fun things you can ride on your, on your drop bar bike because of having that dropper post. Also, looking at this frame, you can see that interesting top tube seat tube sort of shape where they have that gusset. That's allowing for a little bit uh, more standover clearance while still keeping plenty of room in the frame that you have those two water bottle mounts there. An interesting way of looking after your ability to put a pannier rack on here. You can still put full wrap fenders on here. We have mounts down at the rear dropouts for that. Those rear dropouts 
house a through axle, a 142 by 12 through axle. So once again at this price point in the 1700-ish dollar range Canadian, um, through axles on a frame and fork are something you barely see. Speaking of the fork, a really really nice carbon design in this case. Um, nice because it's a pretty burly looking thing. You get tons of tire clearance on here. You have about 60 millimeters of width um, at the tire there. Uh, compared to on the back on this frame you have about 50 millimeters between the chain stays which gives you that ability to go up to about a 45C and still have a little bit of room for mud on your tires. We have that through axle on the front wheel. We have a fender mount down below it. A low rider rack mount so if you're going to use this for some um, some touring, a little bit of exploring, you have an easy way to put a low rider front rack on. That goes hand in hand with that little threaded mount that's right there at the center of your fork. We have really nice flare on these handlebars, so the bars aren't just a straight standard drop like a road handlebar. We've got some flare and then also generally shorter uh, stem lengths than what we would see if this was a road bike. So this guy here being a 56, that's a 70 mil stem. And I think when you go up to a 58, it's maybe an 80 mil stem. But you will find that shorter stems um, on these guys, because we've got a little bit wider handlebars um, with this setup, you can get away by sizing these bikes a little bit um, by going to shorter stems if needed. The micro shift shifter that pairs up with that Advent X rear derailleur that we looked at has a really nice two button system here. So um, not exactly like the way Shimano does their ergonomics for shifters, but works really, really nicely. Um, and the hoods have a pretty good shape as far as comfort. Bar tape is a rubberized um, padded sort of a thing. So comfortable to ride on the flats or in the hoods. When it comes to braking on this guy, this is where we see the value of the bike being reflected or the fact that they're going after price point. It's a mechanical disc brake on there, but it is a Tektro dual piston brake. So if you're gonna be doing mechanical, um, those dual pistons from Tektro are awesome. They share brake pads with uh, the Shimano uh, B01S brake pads I believe they use in there. So you do have brake pads no matter what bike store you go to around the world you'll be as likely as anything to be able to find brake pads or to get different compounds for brake pads uh, to save money with aftermarket cheap brake pads. You, uh, yeah, Those Tektro brakes work well, nice feel at the levers um, and you can get like I say brake pads just about anywhere you go. Um, a nice two-piece crank set on here. I mentioned that we have that narrow wide setup. Geometry on these guys isn't wacky. It's still kind of roadish, but not quite as steep and twitchy as a road bike. That will come a little bit from the fact that we've got wider bars on these guys, um, sitting up a little bit taller. And in general on gravel bikes, I would suggest not um, duplicating your road fit exactly. You do want to be in a little bit more relaxed position on the bike as opposed to positioning yourself purely for power and efficiency like you would on a road bike because you're going to be tackling, potentially at least, a little bit more challenging terrain on this. So 1749 alloy frame, carbon fork, uh, dropper compatible, a really nice wide range uh, drivetrain on there courtesy of that Advent X 1x10 drivetrain and this I think is about as well as you could spend 1749 bucks on a drop bar bike um, if you want to just take those drop bars anywhere. We are bike bros, we're a bike shop in Cochrane, Alberta, Canada. We love talking bikes and we love putting people on the perfect bike, the one that's going to put the biggest smile on their face. And you can check us out at www.bikebros.ca. And thanks so much for checking out our channel. Ciao.